Did you guys hear about AWS Bedrock? If no, no worries. Myself, Karthik Ponnuswamy from Riches Tech. Today, I am going to give in and out of all the details about AWS Bedrock. What is Bedrock is all about? How it actually works? And what are the typical use cases in AWS Bedrock? Let's get started. Let's get deeper into AWS Bedrock step by step. Okay, we are going to get deeper into it. But before we get deeper into AWS Bedrock, I would like to talk about quickly about AI and generative AI. What is AI and what is generative AI? And what is the difference between these two? And then we will just see some uh, top nine you know generative AI applications which is hit in the market. And then we are going to see what is AWS Bedrock. Then what is a foundation model? and how the bedrock actually works and what are typical use cases we can look for AWS bedrock. Let's get deeper into it. So let's think about this way. Guys, let's say uh, as a human being, right, we have a capability to read, understand something and also able to process the data and then we are able to uh, output, right, view the output, right. So what happens if a particular machine can able to do this, right, which means the intelligence what a human being having so if you are able to artificially artificially if you are able to transfer that intelligence or if you are if you have a power of giving this kind of intelligence artificially to a particular machine then there is nothing but ai artificial intelligence right so you guys see here artificial intelligence are nothing but whenever you try to uh, give any data like any kind of information or any kind of uh, data if you want to read it then recognize and then process it right and act on that information if you are able to give that ability to a machine then there is nothing but like ai right which means like you can able to make continuous learning somewhere what is generative ai so generative ai is a type of ai which is nothing but like the same thing but it's one particular type in which it has a capable of using all the information and what are the learnings you did but it is able to generate some new learning or generate some new information so that is why it is called a generative ai so we know ai is something but a uh, way of uh, ability of a machines to read and recognize and then produce output right? so generative ai is nothing but it's a type of ai but it has a power to generate some new information using that input message right and it can able to produce in, uh, information let's say uh, text images audio whatever right so we are going to talk about generative ai and ai which is related to amazon bedrock now let's see what is aws bedrock so aws bedrock is something like a service which is going to be offered by aws if you guys remember, what are the generative AI applications which are using in the real world, especially ChatGPT, right? Which is hit in the market now, right? So there are so many uh, generative AI applications we are having it, but the always we are using ChatGPT for a lot of information, right? Uh, which acts like uh, another user who is sitting next to you and answering it, right? So that's a beauty of the artificial intelligence, right? So you have GPT-4, you have ChatGPT, you have a BAD, and then Cloud AI, like a lot of, you know, uh, to AI applications in the market. Now, what is AWS Bedrock? AWS Bedrock is a fully managed service. Managed service, which means fully managed means Amazon Web Services, like AWS team is managing its service, right? So basically, as a developer or as a company, if I want to use AWS Bedrock, I can easily get it from AWS as a service, right? Which means like you don't need to create a software or a OS or a machine to have this ready right which is already available which is like serverless right basically it gives the easiest way to build and scale generative AI applications let's say if your requirement is to build a generative AI applications like chat gpt or anything for your company then you can simply use aws bedrock to get this function to your project but with the help of something called foundation model what is foundation model we are going to see next but let's make it very clear your whenever you have a requirement to build or scale your generative AI applications, then definitely you can go for AWS Bedrock, but with the help of something called foundation model. So what is foundation model? So foundation models are something like pre-trained models, right? Let's say uh, there are some models which are pre-trained already with a huge volume of data and you can able to ready to use it. So that's nothing but foundation model. So they're also like, you know, uh, trained on various data, like various, uh, you know, categories or departments of a data, which can able to do like multiple tasks, right? Basically, they allow you to make more collaboration nature and more efficient to reuse the data. And also it is easy to adapt. Okay? Instead of like training your custom models, 
fms or something like like foundation models or something like uh, pre defined models which are uh, easily available to use it for our purpose so how i can use this foundation model so there are a lot of startup companies who is uh, involving in generating like a lot of ai apps right so in in aws bedrock especially uh, they are offering something called we can use third party uh, uh, new startup companies like uh, let's say ai 21 labs or ai cloud ai or uh, stable right so stability ai.ai AI. so these are the companies which we can use it these companies have their fm models which we can use it in aws or you can also use amazon titan which is developed by amazon itself so either of these models we can use it so using this model we are going to use aws bedrock right so i hope this is very clear so far now let's see in deeper about how the aws bedrock works aws bedrock as i said earlier it is a fully managed service which means amazon web services will manage the server storage network everything we as a user we simply use the service through internet from aws which makes fms right let's say this fms are nothing but foundation models either from the startup companies or you can use from amazon itself how via api so all the fms whatever they have developed has api api is nothing but application programming interface using api you can make a call right you can make a call to the fms and then you can able to work on it so you can choose any number of fms like whatever available whichever suits for our business right? but it is serverless experience which means we don't need to create a server we don't need to maintain the network we don't need to maintain the storage or anything right aws handles everything on behalf of you but we have to simply use the bedrock and we can able to quickly create let's say this is the main purpose right whenever you want to create something for your project or a team uh that should be very fast and quick right because the market is going very fast isn't it so for that you can go for aws bedrock in order to make it very quick uh you can able to get something from aws which is something like you know you can either to uh use amazon fms or you can use something from the third party ais uh whichever we like right whichever the best suit for your business basically the main advantage of this one is you can make a call to those apis those fm models through api and it is very easy to integrate that's a very beauty point right it is very easy to integrate and then you can able to deploy your application so without doing any manual coding you can able to simply call the service and you can able to make it let's get deeper into how it actually works so basically uh, whenever you log into aws console uh, where you can able to search for aws bedrock as a service uh, like similar services which you are doing like let's say iim ec2 right which you typically use to search in the search bar similarly aws bedrock you can able to search and then within just few clicks what you can do you can create some agents so what that agents will do is agents are the main building blocks for aws bedrock which is something like uh, they automatically break down the task right? they they break down the tasks and then they create the orchestration plan which means orchestration plan means like without your manual coding aws built uh, the plan for you which means like who has to uh, which tasks has to be executed at what time by when right like that so it will take care of everything but as a developer we have to simply drag and drop and then click on some buttons where you can configure the steps so the agent is the main building block as i said for aws bedrock so what it actually does is it actually connects to the company data what you have through an api securely which means you don't need to worry about security part aws take care of security and then it will convert your company data into a machine readable format which means your data whatever you have will be readable like it has to be converted into a machine readable format and then it makes a request it creates a request format with the relevant information whatever it get it from your company data and then it will generate a proper response which is very accurate right and basically agents uh, you know make a call to apis in order to make you fulfill all your user requests so basically it all works as a rest api uh, it internally uses a rest api as a uh, call internal calls let's quickly give a simple example where we can use real time world let's say an insurance company uh, they want to develop something like you know generative ai application let's say uh, something like um, they want to do uh, help uh, their employees in order to automate the task whatever they do like you know whatever they processing the insurance claims or managing the pending paperwork right these are the two main tasks which uh, any insurance agency will use so for this they want to automate this kind of task with the help of generative ai applications so with this uh you know fully managed capability which is nothing but like a serverless architecture which is given to aws basically they can create agents for a, uh, aws bedrock and then uh they can manage the system integration and infrastructure provisioning like which means like they don't need to do anything just the developers has to create the generative ai applications to its full uh 
uh, features right so basically this kind of jobs can be easily replaced by a generative apps so this is like uh, just giving one high level uh, idea about like what uh, practically we can think about aws bedrock where we can use it right guys i have created one uh, architecture diagram where i want to explain about how we can design our aws bedrock in your typical project right so let's say you have users uh, who wants to use aws region so when they come to the aws region basically they have to first come to AWS Route 53, right? Uh, Amazon Route 53 is basically a DNS server where it is configured to all the uh, DNS names and servers and IP address. Basically, it internally talks to AWS uh, API Gateway, which is nothing but like a uh, serverless service, which is mainly to uh, make the route based on what request comes, right? And then, in order to make authentication, they are using AWS Cognito. You can simply use AWS Cognito to make authentication authorization completed. Once it is authenticated, then request can go to Amazon Bedrock. Right? So Amazon Bedrock is a sub, uh, server service. It can make a call to here. So Amazon Bedrock basically you can get the data from training data, right? Which is nothing but like foundation models, which you can store it in Amazon S3 bucket. So in S3 bucket, you can store all the foundation models where you can able to get the prompt, the training data. Using the training data, basically it can uh, use the request and then it able to get the response back. So this is how like you can design your AWS Bedrock if you are trying to establish something new. Project. So now let's get deeper into use cases where we can really use AWS Bedrock. So one is text generation. The name itself you can see. You have to generate the text, right? Let's say you have a huge amount of data in the social media, right? Or uh, from the original content, whatever the user has, right? So if you want to get the text generation, then definitely you can able to uh, get out of here. And then let's say if you want to create some chatbots, right? Let's say if you have something application in which like users are visiting it and you want to uh, have some feel of like someone is on behalf of you someone is taking care of your customers then you have to have some chat right which means like chatbots you can create so with a uh, virtual assistants like they can feel that okay someone is taking care of your customers so this is also can able to handled by aws bedrock then text summarization let's say you have a lot of social media posts you have a lot of books documents you have and in that, if you want to summarize the context, right, then you can go for text summarization. This is also possible with help of AWS Bedrock. Then a uh, search. Let's say you have huge amount of data and you want to get some meaningful data in that, right? You have, which means like you have to search and find, and then finally you want to get a synthesis of that information, right? To answer some questions, then you can go for search, right? This is also another use case where you can use AWS Bedrock. Then finally, you have something called image generation. Let's say uh, based on some data, if you want to generate some images, that is also possible. And also, if you want to give some personal, uh, you know, uh, recommendations, right? Some something, let's say, uh, for the users, if you want to give some product recommendation of your company, then definitely you can able to uh, provide with the help of AWS Bedrock. So basically, AWS Bedrock is one of the best um, AWS service which is released in this year on the AI region, the AI area. Okay. Now, the question is, is it something that I can able to use AWS Bedrock? The question is, uh, answer is yes or no, because uh, basically it is not available for all the users, but still it is available. Basically, what we have to do is like once you have login to AWS console, um, if you search for AWS Bedrock, you will have, have this kind of information coming over there. Basically, you can able to preview it, but you have to join the waiting list because they are not giving all uh, users uh, getting this access, but you will get it eventually. I have just requested it. I haven't get that yet. So, uh, if you guys want to try it out, please go ahead and then search for AWS Bedrock in the service uh, in AWS console, and then sign up for the preview so that you will be the added to the way. Once you have it, then you can able to use the AWS Bedrock. As always, I respect your time uh, in learning with us, and I thank you uh, for learning with us today. And if you guys are very new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and also hit the thumbs up button if you guys like this video. And also, don't forget to hit the notification button. Thank you guys.